Which one charges our battery so that the supercharger works? Mighty this fine. This one. I'm glad we figured that out because we need that supercharger working mighty fine. What is up machines? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you're feeling froggy fresh. I hope you're feeling super fly on this fine day, evening, night, whenever you are watching this 3D Machines upload. Today I'm here with Jake the Toilet Snake and Jason. We are going to work on the Gator engine. Oh my goodness, is this thing looking fresh. Well, actually it looks like it's all torn apart, but hopefully by today it looks a little bit more fresh. Gator needs to start moving. Just like Jake, Jake, do a little dance for us. <laughs> Jake and Jason have installed the first jug on the engine and it is meshing well. They're cleaning the, uh, the uh, valve uh, compartment right now. And wow, yeah, that looks way better. Way, way better. Uh, I know the valve clearances for those, so we're gonna check those out. We want this thing to basically run like a well-oiled machine, obviously, but we want it to purr like a kitten so that once the supercharger goes in it, it, it doesn't have any issues maintaining and keeping up with that kind of power. This is actually wrong right here. So we're figuring some stuff out with the engine. We're also figuring out where we got to put certain things. Uh, I just painted a little bit of the floor right there because the uh, the air compressor and the welder are going to go next to this wall because that's where the 220 plug is. Rome wasn't built in the day. Either was the 3D Machines warehouse. Now this is a machine. You know those 500 piece puzzles that you used to put together on like Christmas time, around Christmas time? This is just like that. One piece at a time and you start seeing the big picture. Yeah. I like the big picture. <laughs> is the big picture the motor running or is the big picture the motor and the gator? The big picture is undefined right at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> The guys and I went downtown to get something to eat. Jake had to take off, and while we were down there, I got a starter, I believe, for this engine. We got the second jug on as well. Uh, we're putting on the charging system as we speak and cleaning up that disgusting thing that should give this engine spark. I don't think we ever tested that. We couldn't test it, so hopefully that works. And uh, Jason's got some nice machine apparel now, so he's looking very fly and very sophisticated. Is that the starter? It is. is it the starter? It is. Brand new. Did you get the right one? Of course I got the right one. Pure ponies. They didn't send it with nuts. They didn't send it with nuts? No nuts. No nuts? We're nutless. Are you kidding me? No nuts. I paid a lot of money for that <laughs> starter. It should come with nuts. What the? Hopefully they're standard set. They look like they're standard uh, thread. Yeah, they do. Come on, baby. Please, please, please. Try that. Oh yeah. We we lucked out there. You got washers to go with it. Oh yeah, we got it all right here. Yeah. Sounds... Oh, they're, they're all right. Head number one before. This side of the Gator engine is complete. We have the valves cleaned up. We have the piston cleaned up. We got the walls cleaned up. We have the valves in spec. So uh, this side should run very, very well. Now we gotta work on this side. At this point in the video, I would like to mention that there are going to be a couple timing issues if you look in the background and things like that. So some things are foreshadowing, some things you already know. I, I guess that's just what happens sometimes when you're a YouTuber. Anyways, Jason left last night. We finished the second jug on the engine. Uh, both valves are in time. 
which is good, which means we should be firing on both cylinders. The carburetor is right here. Uh, we have to do a little bit with the, the intake. I'm leaning more towards the supercharging now. We're gonna have to build some sort of flange or something. So we're gonna have to dismantle this in the future as well. What I see is you have to put the carburetor before the supercharger, so it's just a weird situation. It's not like a vehicle where you can just put it right on the intake. Because we're not dealing with fuel injection, we're, we're dealing with a carburetor and they kind of suck. That's a lot better, but I have to start working on whatever video. You'll you'll see the other video before this video, so then you'll know how that plays out in your mind or your skull, whatever. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably wondering why Dalton, why are you just rebuilding this whole thing? Why aren't you just buying one from Harbor Freight? And the reason behind that is I, I take pride in knowing how to do things, so when I know how to do stuff like this, I go ahead and do it. Now, how many people can say they have a gator that has a supercharger that is gonna go through a lot of mud and uphills, or having an animal or a machine when it comes to off-roading? Not very many people. Now, how many of those, now, it, even if you did find one or two people, how many of those people rebuilt the engine and built the engine from scratch? If you know how to do something, take pride doing it. It's not about the end goal. It's about the journey getting there. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I hope you stay fly. I hope your day's getting better. Until next time, be a machine, 3D Machines out.